All right, here is our tomato haul. Uh, different varieties. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through, pick out the nice bright red ones. I've got a bowl here. I'm going to place them in a the bowl because we're going to cook those up later. Anything that's green, I'm going to go ahead and set aside and wait for it to turn red. So we're going to go ahead and get this processing done. All right, here are the tomatoes. I went ahead took all the stems off of them. These are the ones that are ripe and red. And what we're gonna do now is get some water boiling. So that way we can go ahead and cook these up. And I'm gonna also show you how I save the skins and dehydrate the skins as well. So we'll show you the whole process here. But look at them, aren't they gorgeous? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cook up some tomatoes. Got some in here, and then I'm gonna go through these again. They, some of them looks like they ripened overnight. But what you wanna do is get a pot of water, get a boiling, have a um, bowl with some ice water in it. Tomatoes will go in, start to cook. Once the skins start to split, you pick them out, put them in the ice water to start the cooking process. So that's what we're gonna do first and then I'm gonna show you how to take the skins off so we can save them. Okay, got it boiling, put them in and you just wanna stir them up a little bit and keep an eye on them. Once you start seeing the skin split open, that's when you wanna pull them out and I'll show you guys some as soon as uh, they cook up here. All right, this one right here is split open. So you wanna take them out You can see the split and then just put them into cold water. That's it. And then what will happen is once I get all of them cooked up, I'll take them out of the water one by one and I'll show you how to take the skins off of them. See how it's split nice? So all the tomatoes are cooked up. I got two plates. And as you can tell, they're wrinkly, they're split open. Now, what you wanna do is, um, it's gonna be your preference from here on out. Um, you will need a knife, maybe a couple of bowls. Small bowl is gonna be for imperfections. So like this one, I'll use the knife, I'll cut that part out, cause I don't need it. This bowl is gonna hold everything after I get the skins off. And I'm missing another plate. So I'm actually gonna need another plate to put the skins on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna show you how easy this is. So a lot of these, when you pick them up, you can actually, ju it, they'll just come right out. And see how easy it is to peel? If you squish it a little bit, it's okay. That's it. I'll put the skins over here. Pull it off. And I'll put it in the other bowl. I'll show you another one that's a little bit bigger here. So this one, split open. You just work from the split. And it just comes right off. Hi, Foxy. Skin's there, and I'll put this in my put it in my silver bowl. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get through with these. This was a very messy process. <laughs> I recommend making sure you take your time. But there are all the tomatoes in this bowl, and there is the pile of skins. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take these, put them in a freezer Ziploc bag because uh, later on this year, once the tomato season is done with, we are gonna be making um, tomato paste and tomato um, sauce out of what we have. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get these all into a Ziploc bag. All right, there we have it. We already got, we got a total of five bags. There's another bag in here somewhere. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna set this on something that um, it won't stick to because I have to de-thaw this <laughs> ice, <laughs> um, our freezer here. So I wanna put it on something that it won't. Here we go. I'll oh, just put it on here. And when it freezes, I will then stick it on over here with this one. So that way um, the bag doesn't stick to any of the ice or anything that's too cold and you rip the bag. So that's it for the tomato. All right, so now we're gonna take the potato skins and lay them out on my dehydrator trays. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so you're gonna take your skins. It does not matter which side you put them on. What you wanna do is try and get them as flat as you can. If that means you have to rip them a little bit, you can rip them a little bit. And then just lay them on the trays. This will be another kind of messy process. So make sure you have the time and the means to do it. And it's just, it's also sometimes a pain in the butt. <laughs> but it is so worth it because with these skins, once they're dehydrated, you grind them up and you'll be able to use these in stews. Um, if you make your own spaghetti, you want a little extra oomph in it, chilies, um, any type of soups, it'll just enhance it. It's like um, your own extra herb that you're gonna be doing. So this is, um, what I'm gonna be doing and what I'm gonna then show you is the end result for all these. Alrighty, that's tray one. And then I got tray two and tray three. So now we're gonna go ahead and get them into the dehydrator. The next day. Alrighty, they are done. It is the next morning. And as you can tell, they're thin, crispy. Ah, that's what you're looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these into the little uh, cup blender we use. All right, container is full. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this on the uh, blender part so we can grind it up. Gonna go into Donald's little uh, glass. There you go. And got it labeled so Donald know was Donald knows what it is. But that's it. And then when he wants to season something, soups, stews, chili spaghetti, anything that you wanna have a little uh, good tomato flavor in, there you go. It's easy, just takes a little bit of time. All right, comment below if you've done this before or if you know any tricks or tips that might help out on making different things or recipes that you've used the tomato skins for, comment them down below. We'll see you guys on the next one.